Hi everyone, no news today so let's get straight into it, starting with the economic calendar, then we'll look at Max Payne, then we'll get into the charts, then we'll look at my results for the day and my thoughts going into tomorrow's session. If you like trading stocks and options and making money, definitely like and subscribe. I make videos like this every single day that the markets are open as well as Sunday, so make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Welcome to the Portfolio Bulletin. Let's get started. Looking at the economic calendar for today, you can see building permits came in better than expectations. And the same here for housing. It actually went up quite a lot, 27% compared to minus 0.8% for the forecast. So housing market still very strong. And then looking at tomorrow, don't forget, we have Fed Powell speaking at 10 o'clock. 20-year auction, fairly interesting for TLT traders out there. And then we have Fed Powell talking once again on Thursday. So Fed Powell talking for two days in a row to Congress. Going over Max Payne for the Friday expiration, you can see it's up at 438, which is basically right where we are. Ton of puts here at 430, put call ratio still extremely high, very few calls in the market, which is interesting. Highest call strike here at 440. We've been finishing at the top of the puts, so right around 444 or 446 in this zone. I don't think we'll get a close like that this week, but it's interesting to watch going into the end of the week. Moving over to the charts, starting off with the S&Ps, you can see we had a down day, gap down, fell to support. We're right at that level. You can see we actually have two levels of support there. It looks like we're going to bounce up to that previous resistance tomorrow. We'll see how that plays out. Momentum still slightly bearish. If we bounce up, find rejection and then move lower, certainly possible. But looking at this new week here, we have an inside candle forming. If we close with an inside week on the candle, on the weekly chart, that will look much weaker and we should expect to see more downside coming from that. You can see we're definitely extended still. And I'm watching this very closely here on the weekly chart. Moving over to the Qs, very similar thesis, sold off, hit the 21 EMA on the four hour chart. It looks like we're finding a little bit of strength into the close. Looking for that rally back up to 371.25 where we found a rejection previously. Again, weekly chart, inside candle forming, weaker momentum. Obviously, we're not at the close of the candle, but this does look very ominous. Moving over to the Russell and the Dow, very similar thesis, gap down, very close to support. We were extended on both of these, and we talked about that in the weekly chart. In the weekly video on Sunday, we can see momentum definitely pulling back a little. Same here on the Dow, fell to that resistance point and then bounced. The question is, are we going to see more follow through? It definitely seems like that on the MACDs here. Certainly could bounce from this and the trend is still very bullish, but starting to show stronger signs of reversal here today. Moving over to Apple and Tesla, you can see Apple finding some weakness, finding support, throwing some wicks, kind of neutral here. Tesla, on the other hand, continues to rocket higher. We talked about 302 being that next resistance, and it does seem like that's about to happen over the next few days. Moving over to Staples versus discretionary, Staples found a huge move lower. Really surprising, honestly. We had that previous inside candle here on the four hour chart, definitely looked weak, but it fell quite a lot from about 74.50 all the way down to 73.50. Huge move there. Might be squeezing some of those longs that were in this previous setup. If we find support here at the 55 EMA, that's gonna be a nice setup into that rally back up to 75.40. Moving over to discretionary, Tesla was running, so this rallied here today back above 166.74 after the gap down, filled the gap and then looks bullish once again. Moving over to transports, a very similar thesis to staples, gap down a little bit, fell throughout the session, falling again after hours below my 238.15 level, looking at 233.69. This is still a bullish trend and it does seem like we'll find a higher low, but we were pretty extended and this can fall quite a bit before we find that support. Moving over to JNK and TLT. JNK finding support at the 21, rallying after hours, looks all right. TLT had a nice bullish day. We're at the 200 SMA on the four hour chart. If this breaks here tomorrow, then we should be looking for a nice move up to around 106.50 or so. Moving over to the volatility indices, you can see the move index rallied quite a bit up to the 21 EMA. Still a downtrend, but an interesting pullback. The VIX looks like a double bottom type setup now. Tested that next resistance. If this breaks up and we take out this midpoint, that could be setting up for a bit higher push, which would be quite bearish for equities. Interesting potential for a setup here on the VIX. Moving over to my accounts, I really couldn't watch them today, so whatever happened, happened, and I ended up losing about 160 bucks. it looks like. IWM, I have a 185 call for tomorrow. I rolled that down and was able to cover most of my losses. 
looking at the queues, similar thesis, down a dollar, rolled that call down, had some decent profits, and then rolled that call out to 167. And then I ended up buying a couple more shares here for 168. It was the ex-dividend date, so I wanted to hold some shares going into the close. And I did that with covered calls to help protect myself a little bit more. Hopefully we get a little bit of a rally into the morning. And then I'll be watching whether I should take these off or let the covered call execute. Either way, still neutral. It's a bullish trend, but we're definitely seeing some pullbacks with a little bit of momentum. Let me know down in the comment section what you think Jerome Powell is going to say tomorrow. Is it going to be impactful or will it be nothing? Definitely like and subscribe if you got any value out of this video and make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss out on any future episodes. Of course, none of this is financial advice. This is all for entertainment purposes. Good luck in your trading and have a great day.